What's up, Panda Gang? Welcome back to Brazil on Pangea. Right now we're at war with Saladin, although he's fighting the Romans over here on the left side of the map, so don't really need to worry about that. As for rankings, how are we doing? We're dead last in every single victory type. That said, what I'm really vying for is the culture victory, in which Ludwig is crushing right now. If we take a look at his... Oh my gosh, look at this. Science 450, culture 450. This man is on a tear, but we're about to hit a bit of a bump ourselves. If we look at the scientists here, we're going to get research labs soon. We're going to get broadcast centers right after. And we've just hit this industrial stage, right, where we've got the, the power plants going off. So our city should get some more production, too. Not only that, but on the great works front, we're not doing so great right now. Like, I bought most of these books. But if I go and take a look at the great people now, I'm actually uh, ahead or at par with some of the best civs here in terms of how many great people points we're getting per turn. And that's before, again, we get uh, a lot of these art museums and later broadcast centers, right? So let's get started by sending our great artist somewhere where they can actually do their stuff. So there's one here in Sao Paulo, we'll use them. Wonderful. Uh, and then we'll the next one down here in Belém. We see we have an art museum coming in in just two turns. I've got a culture related decision to make here in Fortaleza too. They're done the sewer. So the housing is looking good for a reasonable amount of time. A spy is attractive, but you need to get an archeologist. If we go and take a look at the great works, look, we've got six spots for artifacts. And archaeologists cost a lot of production, man. So we'll pump that guy out here in Fortaleza. Mobilization unlocked. This gives us armies and armadas. It's really nice to go on the culture route, man. I usually go like big into the sciences and then I don't get these things till later on in the game. But we should think about doing something like that. So I've got one knight here on the east, one on the west. No barbs that I can see to the north. Maybe I should combine these guys, but at the same time, the army isn't that big, right? So maybe we keep them separate. A better idea, I think, is combining these two archers. This guy's almost level two. So let me send you up here to Natal. Oh, taking the road, eh? Taking the road. And then we'll get ourselves a bit of a stronger archer. I'm not thinking that Celadon will actually come and fight me through the Norwegians, through all the city-states, but who knows? Could happen. Up to the north here, if we take a look at Hamar, look at this. City's gonna flip in just three turns, maybe. So we should be uh, ready to take over if we can. Let me send this musket man over here. Right on, it's already coming to Brasilia. Well played, me. Um, and then this knight as well. Uh, the thing with Hamar here is, look, it sits right next to one coal, and then it's just within three tiles of this other coal resource. So if we could get this spot, oh, that'd be just perfect. Got a new trade route opportunity, eh? Well, I just noticed on sending my troop to Natal, it went through Sao Paulo because that's where the road went. So instead, let's go and make a trade route between Manaus and Natal. Just get a better road out there so that our troops can move around a little bit more easily. I got another trader in Sao Paulo, and the same vein, I'll send this guy to Belém. I'm noticing the roads around here aren't that great. We could use one to Carabita and one to Manaus as well. Okay, so our spy here got us some gold. Let's go and try and get some tech boosts out of this guy if we can. I don't see any great work heist opportunities. That'd be another one I'd want to go for. And then in Natal, we could get more spies, but this city was actually super late to the Theater Square game. They built a commercial hub uh, just because the adjacent bonus was beautiful back in the day when I placed that down. Then we had the Chichen Itza. Uh, so it's been a long time since they've been able to focus on uh, actually building culture stuff. Major flood occurring in my lands here. Let's go check out the damage. We got some uh, buffs. But the walls in Manaus are destroyed. Uh, the health took some beating too. Luckily I have a dam coming up in six turns, but didn't come in just in time. Um, I do want to fix up those walls, but since they just got damaged this turn, I can't do that just yet, I guess. It would be handy to send a builder down here too to fix up these tiles, but might as well just wait for the dam to finish itself up. We'll build up those walls again. And then the city, city shouldn't have to deal with that sort of issue in the future. As I was saying, Belém, we've got trade route, uh, trade route opportunities here. We'll send you to Curabita. I'd like to get one from Curabita to Sao Paulo or to uh, Manaus as well. It's best that the road doesn't go through the Bologna lands, uh, which have expanded like crazy. Like one, two, three, four tiles out. They grabbed both of these. Absolutely insane. Stealing my Petra land. Anyways, I don't want to be in this position where there's a, uh, my best road it goes from Belém to Manaus and then Bologna switch sides and I can't go through their territory. That'd be so annoying. Now, Art Museum completed it in Belém. I'm a little bit torn on what's next. I think a shipyard's smart. Uh, we can't build any more districts, which is too bad for now. Although, Granary is so dang cheap. Let's do a Granary quick, get way ahead on the housing. We'll get up to 11 housing in a five pop city. But that way, when we do hit seven pop, we can build another district. Well, then, right away, we can just uh, build that district all the way. And we don't need to worry about getting the housing out. Okay, there we go. We got the first fighting down here on our night. Going against a line infantry of the free city, looking like uh, 11 turns until it flips. And we definitely have the most pressure here, so if we just do nothing, we will get the city for free. That said, we have to protect our lands against these guys, because I don't want to lose my uh, strategic nighter resource. 
The only units I'm really comfortable with going up in the fight are these knights. Like this archer down here is a pretty weak unit compared to a line infantry. But I got a couple knights coming over. Oh yeah, and don't forget about this musket man pulling up the rear. I'm happy enough that these guys just making a little wall here and then my archer can fire over top. What says a new war? Ludwig has declared war on Harold. Luckily, uh, allies with both those guys, so I don't have to go to war with either of them. That's nice. Another art museum completed in Salvador. We did have a great artist. We used them, used up their last charge. Yes, this guy can move. Let's send you here to Salvador. Whoa, said I could move there in one turn. Anyways, we'll spread out uh, El Greco's different works of art. One in, in Salvador and then one down in Belem, I believe. If, if indeed, there's enough charges for that. The city of Salvador, man, running up on the housing limit. So we'll get the sewers in there. That way when they crap, you know, it's not as gross. And then we'll quick uh, sell some luxuries here. As long as I'm getting 10 gold per turn of these luxuries, I'm going to do it every time. Wow, and then iron too. They actually want this stuff. Mr. Warmonger here uh, in Rome. Give me hella gold and Harold. As long as they're my allies, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Funny enough, looking at the, the niter deals, they're worse than the iron. They wanted more iron than they did niter. Economics unlocked. We got the stock exchange. It's actually the first powered building I've unlocked, funny enough. Uh, even though I'm not really much of a economics man. That said, I mean, you go to uh, not great works, but great people. And the great merchant race, I was sort of the only one in this. Now, just middle of the pack. Really more focused, though, on the science and the culture. Got plenty of gold in the bank. So we're complete in Rio. Uh, no more buildings to build at this moment. No more districts. So let's go and put some production into a spy here. An alliance came to an end, too. Okay. Trajan, my friend. Come here. Declare friendship with this guy. And for alliances, I believe we went cultural here. Oh, look at this. Another sewer finished in Sao Paulo. You're seeing a bit of a theme here. Art museum next, or do we go with the monuments? Just purely based off a bang for a buck. 12 turns, 6 culture. 2 turns, 2 culture. Now, art museum definitely has uh, other bonuses. I mean, you get great works you can put in there. You get great people. Well, let's queue those two up so we just get a bunch of culture out of Sao Paulo. I mean, really, any city with other monument should definitely be a priority for them. And next landscape here. The view of Toledo, that's quite beautiful. Looking at my great works, I see one... Uh, where was the other one used? Rio de Janeiro. Huh, funny enough, I'm not seeing uh, the others. Unless, oh, so these were religious ones. And then he also does a landscape. I'm glad to see the guy, you know, mixing it up a little bit. Oh, man, archaeologists coming into my territory. Don't like to see that. Look at here, down here. He's going after this antiquity site. That's a quick amphitheater completion here. Natal will go art museum next. Now, enough archaeological stuff. Get the art. Granary completed in Bellum. This guy needs some more food going on, man. I'm going to have to prioritize that. All I really wanted to do, though, was get it off this tile and get it over to the other. See, one food, four production. I want three food. Oh, same deal here. One food, four production. Two food, three production. We'll do that instead. Increases the uh, amount of food we're getting per turn and get us up to a point where we can build another one of these districts. Maybe we get a campus or something nice like that. There's also a ton of wonders we could build here. Something like the mausoleum at Helconarsis. Very attractive, although I kind of want to build that in... Kurtiba. So let's go for a quick builder. We could improve this hill over here. There's a next hill, although, you know, entertainment complex probably going down there. But there is a huge eruption over here at Pico di Kabugi. And, you know, we could really improve these tiles here. The sheep uh, even also got uh, destroyed somehow. We're leaving a lot of production on the table there. Tons of envoys to send. Up to six now. Okay, I think we just need to go ahead and spend some of these. I've been trying to be economical with these, you know. Take our time. But there are just so many places. First, let's go with Chingeti. Okay, we're going to confirm that. And then I'm going to get all the way up to three in Hunza. And we'll call it a day for now. Keep a couple envoys in there just in case someone comes through and decides to uh, uproot my Brussels or Villainous. I like these ones. And that should be the end of the line infantry. Guys are only getting one XP per turn, which is, you know, classic if you're fighting a non-civ player. And you already have one promotion. I guess the game just doesn't want you, you know, sort of hacking the system. It was enough XP to get this archer going, though. Look, we've got incendiaries now. So if we want to go on the offensive a little bit, that archer can help us. I think we just camp out here with the knight, though, and wait for Hamar to flip in a few turns. Unless, of course, something like the musket man can get in here. Yeah, it can do a bit of damage, but it's nothing too crazy. Because look at this here. Look, 45 for me. Norway only at 23. Th this is not close. This is not close. I'm going to be taking this city. Let me get another road here to Fortaleza. I like this one because it cuts through some trees, some rainforest, which I definitely don't want to chop down. And we get over one of these rivers here. What's this though? City unpowered, Kirtaba. What do you have that needs powering? It looks like no buildings in particular, but it's just saying, hey, you have a power plant, man? Go build that. Okay, fair enough. Oh, you know what it was? It's the factory, because when the factory is powered, you get uh, you get a little bit more production. 
Speaking of factories, Guyana has finished their workshop. They're gonna get to work on the factory now too. City's not that strong, only 20 production per turn, but once we get this factory up and running, Receive's gonna get those bonuses, Salvador also, uh, and that's gonna be huge for this whole region on the east side. So I just had my builder make a mine here, and look, we take a look at uh, what our guys are saying now. It went off this one food, four production tile, and went to the two food, four production tile, which is just nice all around. We get, a, we get more production, obviously, and city growth uh, has improved once again. Gentle eruption, okay. Fair enough. Doesn't look like any of my lands were impacted. No, just here in Brussels. Looking up to the north, though, in Hamar, they just spawned a cavalry. Not a big fan of that myself. Uh, but maybe we can get this archer in range. Yes, the archer can fire, which is nice. And I'll let this uh, Brazilian knight just chill here. Fortify it to get back up to full health. Hopefully this is not too much of a smack. Oh, it does look like they're going to do some damage, though. Looks like a lot of damage about to come through. We'll see what happens with this guy, though. Who knows? Maybe he even goes west. I can't see what's going on in the fog war there. Nope, coming after me. A catastrophic eruption. No! So many eruptions going on here. Oh my gosh. New Civic though. Look at this. Broadway. 20% more culture in any city. That's actually huge, man. Look at the damage over here though. We got this tile is destroyed. This tile was destroyed. Luckily, the campus escaped unharmed. I swear maybe there was one more tile that got a little bit of damage, but it looks like we're okay for now. I will need another round of builders though. I will need another round of builders though on that Broadway. Mm, very, very attractive. Although it looks like someone else has already picked that up. Not too surprised looking at Ludwig's culture levels. Unbelievable. Now we have a government change. So let's investigate some of these here. Republican legacy, look at that. 11 on 11. But a super attractive one is Raj here, okay? Let's pump that in instead of two more. Uh, what's that? Influence points towards envoys. We've got lots of envoys, but I will take 24 of these. Gold, science, culture, and faith. And then military policies, logistics it was great when we were trying to defend our lands, move our guys around, but that time in the game is sort of over. Instead, maybe we go with Levy on Mass. Just get a little bit more of this production here. Sorry, that's gold I meant. Uh, and then one thing I'd maybe like to get rid of is public works. I do want some more builders right now, but after that we can put in triangular trade, get ourselves an extra faith and gold. We now have two governor titles though, and I can't just sit on these and do nothing. So I'm gonna get myself some Reina. Send them down to Salvador. Seems like a good place. We can really expand these borders. Get as much of the sea under our control as possible. Like get something like the whales. The other place I might want to send them would be Kurtaba. Because same thing, we can get a lot of these coast tiles. I would like to get the monthly and the Narcissus there. But honestly, this would not be a bad place to do it either. Look, 15 turns. No suitable location. Hold on. Oh, next to a harbor and all I have is my commercial hub. Anyways, the borders will get growing. And then let's do another promote here too. Double JCC bonuses for commercial hubs and harbors. So when we go and put this in here, we just see our gold go up by about 13. I'm not gonna see that just this second because the game takes a second, but a little look at this down here. Eight gold from the commercial hub, that's just base, and then three from the harbor. Dan completed in Manaus, and like I said, I'm gonna be disciplined, repair those other defenses. It only takes one turn, and that way we don't have to worry about someone coming in and raising me with a surprise war. Hamar almost under our control, got a few more turns to go. And our spy has been to detected. Okay, replaceable parts. Let's get it on foot. He does it. Good job, spy. Good job. We've got a lot more spies coming out, too. I'm building at least two or three of those guys. And a third. Yeah, we're building two and an option for a third here in Manaus. What do we want to build? Okay, we can get a whole new district, so we should definitely do that. Other things that are attractive to me are builders, spies, and that archaeologist. Cannot be underrated. Cannot underrate that archaeologist because other places just can't build those. How much does it cost to buy one? 1,600 gold is a lot, but if Manaus has a whole new district you can build, I think I need to focus on doing that instead of doing the archaeology stuff. So a couple things I know I want in the city. One, a neighborhood, right? Just get that pop up. Look, a couple good opportunities down here on the desert hills. Another one, though, the street carnival. Oh, <laughs> that takes two turns to make. Two turns commercial hub, two. Okay, decent stuff, but the street carnival, man. We put something like this down, it's going to improve that theater square adjacency bonus. And then we'll be able to run our special city projects, the carnival, and get a whole ton of great people points. So let's go ahead and place that down on this wheat, which we just aren't working right now. So boom, two turns, we should have that complete. We can get to work on the buildings inside. So we're complete in receipt, so its housing is finally fine again, and we'll be able to get some more of these districts going. So far this age, we've been really making use of the mountains. We got the holy site, we got the campus, big adjacency bonuses up here. I think it's time for a more traditional street carnival, though. Looking around, where do I want to place this? Now, all the spots are pretty much the same. Look, there's no adjacency bonuses. Uh, but I do want to think a little bit about where these... So, like, this is some great farmland over here. Up to the northwest, some pretty decent farmland. And tons of floodplain area here, man. Like, you got the dam. So I can go in the north or the south for all this flooding. 
Because that said, I don't want to have my theater square constantly getting destroyed over and over and over. So let's put him right here next to receive. No flooding action going on, and I'm going to put attack down so I don't forget. Let me put a street carnival right next to it. We'll get that adjacency bonus. And the street carnival is great for the sieve all around. Ooh, look at this. A great person. Oh, great writer. Man, we, we need some books. A bird came down. That's a great book. I think, I think. I'm not actually sure. I never read the book. And look, our first archaeologist. What is left for you to take? So I see one near Sao Paulo and a second one near Fortaleza, and then a couple up there to the north. So any in uh, my allies' lands I could take? Yes, okay. I see some here in Norway. I'm gonna send my archeologist there right now. Okay, only five turns to get there, not too bad. Um, that way we can secure, you know, we want six because we got six charges from the archeologist, so let's just secure as many as we can. Well, you know, ensuring that our lands, we pick up all of the things from our lands. Okay, now we got a city-state quest completed for Chingeti. We're sitting at seven. Eight is suzerainty. Now, their special bonus is that international and domestic trade routes, if you have the majority religion and that's where the trade route is going, you get a little bit of faith. And look at this. I've got tons of Eastern Orthodoxy around me. There's a ton in Germany as well. Oh my goodness. Eastern Orthodoxy is absolutely crushing it. Oh, wow. Wow, whoever owns this is about to win the game. Look at this. All I have to do is take Rome, and then they've got it. Who does this belong to? Eastern Orthodoxy, here we go. The Byzantine. Absolute beast sieve. These guys are crushing it. I don't know what I can do about that. Maybe by some fortune, we won't lose due to this. But let's take the of Chingeti regardless, and that should give us a bunch more faith. Look at that, 44 faith per turn now. Absolutely crushing the game. And what's this? Oh, we discovered replaceable parts. Our first modern era tech. Farms are a little bit better. We got infantry to upgrade our musket men with. And the mood market, and the mood, the food market for our neighborhoods. Look at this builder in Bulem. There's many things this builder can fix up. Let's just uh, do it by whatever's closest. We got a couple camels here we can do. And let me get to work on spy next down here. Over in Salvador, we're done the sewer. What comes next? Look, we got the harbor. We got the commercial hub. Now, look at this, the shipyard. This will give you production on all these tiles, but it'll also give you production with whatever your adjacency bonus is here in the city. Now that will go to six once Reyna is established, but only a plus three harbor is actually not that great. So in light of this, I'm gonna think more about my housing situation. It's about to be another problem here. So let's see what kind of neighborhood opportunities we have. This one's gonna get flooded, but is plus five. This one's next to a volcano and is plus five. Then this plus six tile is a nice tile. So what do you end up going with? I say we go with the plus six. Uh, that way at least it doesn't get destroyed. My population is not, um, you know, cut in half overnight. Here's Emily Dickinson. We're getting our first great work of writing down. Next turn. And it was just a spy. Very good, very good. Definitely send them off, send them off to the Byzantine. We want to hamper them as much as we can. Although based off of what I was looking at with that uh, religious lens, things are not looking good. Artifact of Fortaleza. Nice combustion. We got a little bit of boost going on there and let's get something from the barbarians a mosaic beautiful spot being completed in rio right that we just sent off what's next let's let's see here a couple cabana um do i put anything on the sea that i have no districts by the sea aka no um theater squares but i can put a theater square right here all we do is lose some stone which is not the greatest talent anyway it's six six yield nothing to sneeze at nothing to sneeze at but i put that down here we get to do the uh city project and the theater square gets buffed i like that and with the archaeologist being complete here in Fortaleza, as you saw, we just sent that guy out. We've got our first antiquity site. I'm going to go with the builder. There's just been a lot more tiles unlocked with the uh, natural border growth with all our culture. Ooh, Archer Core almost going down with all our culture. Uh, and there's a lot more tiles to improve now, which is nice. Another great person to get here, a great musician of Vivaldi. I know that guy. Sweet dude. And it looks like our spy that had to escape is back here. What do we want? Uh, rocketry, counter spy. Uh, maybe we'll go with surveillance. None of those were too, too applicable to me. I would have liked like great, like great work heist artist or something like that. Someone who is absolutely amazing at doing that sort of thing. Or even, um, great science buffs. That works too. Our museum completed in Natal. Look at this chemistry research labs coming up very quick. Four turns. So let's just put some into a builder. Get that guy out there and then, uh, we'll get buffing up on the science. Ten turns. Nine turns until the industrial era ends, and we just hit 21. Okay, okay, perfect. Let's keep this city here. Hamar will, whatever, keep the name of the Norwegians. That's cool with me. Oh, look at that. I got the amber. Nice of them to pick that up. And we've got a coal resource that we can improve. Just going to have to send a builder up to actually do that. 
As for the city itself, hmm, well, let's go with the granary to get started. Pretty easy thing to build, uh, and that'll just buff up your city long term. Then down to the south, this build is just continuing the train, moving along. Look at these crazy yields now, man. With my newly promoted spy here, let's send him off to Constantinople. We have one in Thessalonica. Let's do the other in Constantinople. And see how much gold we can steal if nothing better is an option there. Maybe sciences I'd like to do. Are we going to complete them now? So let's go zoom next. Oh, coal power plant. That's sweet. That's going to make my cities around here way stronger. Art museum next in Kirtaba. And before long, man, we'll have broadcasting centers. And these great musicians will actually have a place to play, which will be really nice. Haha, <laughs> now we're going to steal a little bit here from the Norwegians. Let's definitely get a Harald Hardra artifact. I'm sure I'm going to get a call that here. Oh, yeah, my bad, my bad. I'll just take my diplomatic favor and run. What's this? A major flood, but it was mitigated? Oh, not by me. I wish it was one of my dams. Defeat! Oh, there we go. Man, I did not realize this faith was spiraling out of control. But the Byzantine? Man, super strong faith game. Uh, if you watched my... Theodora game right when she came out. That's exactly how I went for the for, for the win as well. They're just so good at theological combat. It's ridiculous. Anyways, guys, fun game. Thanks for watching through. I had a great time playing as Brazil, and I'd recommend it to you too, especially if you struggle. You know, uh, the early game can be tough. Catching up to DD AIs can be tough, but Brazil's got a pretty strong early game, man. If you get a start with lots of rainforest, like down here in Rio de Janeiro, as I did, you can get those crazy adjacency bonuses on your campuses, on your theater squares. Like, look at this theater square, 15 culture, are you serious? Then that could help you keep pace so you don't fall too far behind these AIs and allow you to pull ahead later in the game. As long as you don't have Theodora in here crushing you with a religious victory. Thanks for watching, Panda Gang. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna actually pay for Windows, so make sure to subscribe. Peace.